Tuscan pork chop is an Italian-inspired dish that brings Italian flavor in your own kitchen. So first thing to do is season the pork chops. I have four thin cut pork chops and season it with salt and pepper first to taste. Next is put a little bit of oil in the meat, then rub it. Then add the Italian seasoning. With the oil in it, it's easier for the spice to stick into the meat, thus absorbing its full flavor. This is done on both sides. If you don't have the Italian seasoning mix ready, you can make it your own. Quite simple actually. Just combine same amount of rosemary, basil, oregano, thyme, marjoram, and chili flakes. Then you have it already. That simple. Okay, set it aside first as I prepare the sauce. In a bowl, add 1 cup of heavy cream, a small amount of salt and pepper, a pinch of paprika, then finely chopped sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried is extra special for me because it brings out unique flavor to the food. And this is about 3 tablespoons, then put it in. Then I have 2 cloves of garlic and I'm using the garlic crusher so it will be blended in the sauce without you even noticing it that you're eating it already, which is wonderful for me. Then last is add 3 4th cup of parmesan cheese. This will bring so much flavor as well because we all know that parmesan is so rich in taste. Okay, next is add a small amount of oil in a pan, about 2 to 3 tablespoons, and 2 tablespoons of butter. Put heat on a medium high, and once the smoke appears, put the pork chops inside. Since this is a thin cut, it won't take time to cook, and cooking time really depends on your preference too. I want my pork chops totally well done, and I'm cooking this a little bit longer than if you want a medium well pork chops. So this is how I like my pork chops. I love the brown color and this is totally well done. Other Tuscan recipe won't do this process, they just cook the pork into the oven directly. But I prefer this version because the caramelized protein here adds flavor to the sauce. So I'm happy with how it looks. Turn off the heat now and I'll scoop some fat first and we'll leave this amount. This is okay. Then add a cream mixture inside. Even it out. And into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 6 to 8 minutes or if you think the sauce is cooked already and well blended into the meat. So this is how it turns out and actually you can just use the fire to cook the sauce but I prefer the oven because the liquid won't evaporate much as I only have one cup of cream compared to the fire. Taste the sauce now and adjust if you need. Then add spinach inside. If you prefer to chop it, do it, but I just like to add it directly after it cleaned. Then I let it cook in a low heat for a minute or less. And serve it hot.